Thank you for joining Wars of the Rosies as we continue with part 51, lesson 50 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson 50. Through faith in the divine law will we do the will of the divine law, and through obedience to the divine law will we become the dispensers of the divine law, and therefore the Christ, which is the Son of God. For Jesus said, Is it not written in your law, I said, Ye are gods? St. John chapter 20, 19 through 31, 19. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst, Peace be unto you. The first day of the week, that is, the beginning of a new life. At the beginning of the new life, there is always fear. The fear that the Jews, or the flesh, may be too strong and cause us to turn back. But the awakening has come. Jesus, which is now the Christ, the illumined, individualized soul, stands before us. 20. And when he had said so, and he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. As long as man has to contend with the flesh, even though purified, there is still some doubt in him. For such is man. 21. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so I sent you. With the assurance that the soul lives, there comes peace. For within the assurance comes the knowledge that the Father is in the temple and watches carefully over his own. 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. When the assurance is given us that we have found the Father, then does the illumination of soul take place. It is the resurrection from the flesh which was dead and is now become part of the Christ. The divine illumination is the Holy Ghost. It is the baptism of fire and comes up on man like a breath. 23. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. Knowing the truth and having experienced the truth, we are now prepared to teach the way, the truth, and the life to others. If they will obey the divine law as we teach them, then will they become free from sin and from evil, for they will transmute the desires of the flesh, whence comes all evil, into the desires which are from the Father. They that will not obey the laws as we shall teach them are forgiven their sins because they hold to them. Only according to their works shall it be done unto them. Only through obedience can they become free. 24. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. 25. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hands into his side, I will not believe. Faith or mere faith and that which others teach us cannot bring salvation to us, only as we ourselves live in harmony with the divine law and thereby transmute the flesh into a living soul, only as we, through the death of the self and the resurrection of the Christ, can we know the Christ. Faith is not in itself regeneration, but the works of faith bring regeneration, which is the salvation of the soul. 26. And after eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. 27. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. 28. And Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my Master. Only after Thomas had shut the door of the self and had himself lived in harmony with the divine law and had experienced the divine illumination, could he believe and then he knew. 
29, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Those who believe without having seen the Christ will do the works of the Christ. If they do this, then truly are they blessed. They will come to be like him and then they will see him. For to do the will of the Father is to become like the Father. 30. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. 31. But these are written, that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Believing you will do the works that Jesus did and will have life eternal, because through your works... Will you become the Christ? Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.